Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about nesting in less. So basically, nesting allows you to create CSS parent-child selectors quite easily and in a way that's easier to read and resembles more like HTML syntax. So, what do I mean by a parent-child selector? Well, for example, let's just say you have a div, okay? with a width of 200 and a height of 100, for example. Now, let's say within your div, you have an image tag, okay? We can target this image tag by using a parent-child selector. This looks like this. Div space image, okay? And then say height of 50, for example, and a width of 50 as well. So, that right there is regular CSS. And it's an example of a parent-child selector. We have the parent right here, and then the child right here. Okay, now, we're repeating the div twice in this scenario. Now, using less, you can actually use the nesting syntax to create this selector right here. And we can do so by simply cutting this image section, okay, and then pasting it within the actual rules of this div selector. Let's press Control V right here and get rid of that down there. So now here, we have the same result achieved with less. This is saying we have a div with some properties and also every image within that div properties. So now if I was to save this and compile this less into regular CSS, in the CSS output file, we get that right there. The same result as the previous CSS example. Okay, so that's how, less, that's how nesting works in less. Now what if we want to use something like pseudo selectors or pseudo classes, pseudo elements? Now, we can do this by using the ampersand. And the ampersand refers to the parents, okay? So, what I mean by this is, inside here, if I was to put an ampersand right down there, this means refer to that selector right there. So, for example, if I wanna make a hover pseudo class like that, I can achieve this by putting an ampersand and then putting hover and then putting my hover styles inside here for example background of blue this ampersand refers to the parent meaning that div right there so if I was to compile this into regular CSS in the output we get div hover background blue which matches that right there so you can see how the nesting syntax allows you to reduce the amount of times you have to write the parent selector and also makes your code resemble more like your HTML. Okay? And that's how you can use nesting in less. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.